subsided, but it put on quite a show earlier. This is video sent to us by Tracy in Warwick this afternoon. You can see the massive hail just pelting her front yard. And more on today's weather and what we can expect tomorrow. Here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraca. Only in New England, Tony, that we could have weather like this today. Oh, Mike and Shannon, incredible. And more than once this summer that we've had some hail. I mean, it started off gorgeous this morning with sunshine. Even it's, you know, late as 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It was sunny and great. And then by 3, 4 o'clock, those storms passing through. Quiet again. Take a look outside in Providence now. Skies are clear. The air is humid and starting to see some patchy fog and the visibility in Providence now is pretty good, but along the coastline starting to see some fog and that'll spill over into early tomorrow morning, but it will turn into a nice day. In fact, the visibility in Newport now not too bad. A little bit of the haze indicating some of that fog is just starting to form. Relative humidity is now at, at 100%, so there's a lot of moisture floating in the air. High temps today before the storms rolled in between 80 and 85. One o'clock in the afternoon, noontime today, sun. 82 and then three hours later the chunks of ice and hail coming out of the sky in some communities not every town had a severe thunderstorm so how is it that you can get hail ice on a day where temperatures are in the 80s well these severe thunderstorms these cumulonimbus clouds can tower 30 40 even 50,000 feet up into the atmosphere so while it's 85 on the ground the top of the cloud is well below zero and these strong severe thunderstorms have very intense what we call updrafts rising air rising very rapidly rapidly through the cloud. So in the bottom of the cloud where it's warm, water droplets are being carried to the top of the cloud, turns into a little particle of ice. That particle of ice falls to the bottom of the cloud, picks up water, gets blown back to the top. Another layer of ice forms, gets blown back to the top of the cloud. Another layer of ice forms. So each trip up to the top of the cloud, the hail zone gets larger and larger to the point where it gets so heavy, these strong updrafts can no longer keep the ice suspended in the top of the cloud. And the net result, the hailstone falls to the ground. And some communities getting that today. We're quieter for tomorrow. Overnight tonight looking okay other than seeing some of that fog. Tomorrow's a nice day. Early morning fog should burn off rapidly. Kind of a cautious weather alert here for Wednesday. Just going to keep an eye to the sky very late in the afternoon for some scattered thunderstorms to redevelop. But looking pretty good for tomorrow. We'll watch late afternoon on Wednesday. Uh, summer's not over. At least on Wednesday, temperatures could be close to 90 in some areas and really cooling off by Thursday and Friday. Uh, the atmosphere is saturated. Look at these relative humidities at 100% and with light wind, that's kind of the recipe for having fog develop and we'll keep that on the forecast overnight through early tomorrow morning. Weather disturbance that gave us some of the scattered storms, a little disturbance in the upper part of the atmosphere is pulling away offshore, clearing skies behind that settling in for tomorrow once the uh, the fog burns off. So if tomorrow afternoon looks pretty good. Sunshine mixing with fair weather clouds. 80, 81 is where we should be for this time of year. 70s along the coastline. The beaches look good once some of that fog burns off. So early in the morning, our clouds and fog to start the day at 62, but burning off by mid-morning. Sunny skies at 9 a.m. Looking good at 11 a.m. at 75 degrees. Sunshine, a few fair weather clouds mixed in. Quiet, seasonably warm with temperatures in the lower 80s. All right, beaches look good. Now, there'll be some fog very early, but it will burn off to some sunshine. Air temperature and water temperature nearly identical in the lower to middle 70s. Surf running at about uh, 1 to 2 feet. Bay forecast looks fine, too. But again, early in the morning, some of that leftover fog <clears throat> should lift by around 8, 9 a.m. With some sunshine, the wind north turning onshore south in the afternoon afternoon at about five to 10 knots. All right, seven day forecast overall tomorrow. Not bad. Most of Wednesday is OK, but again, we're going to keep an eye to the sky late afternoon and early evening uh, for a late day thunderstorm. Noticeably cooler, but dry and comfortable up both Thursday and Friday with daytime highs in the mid 70s. Early call on the weekend is for the chance of a shower on Saturday, but we're leaning towards Saturday night rather than Saturday day. Dry, seasonably warm on Sunday at a high around 80. Early call on Labor Day. Monday is for dry weather and comfortable temperatures with highs in the upper 70s. Looks pretty good for tomorrow, especially during the afternoon. I, I, I can't believe I just said Labor Day weekend. I was going to say, happened? I bet you've got a lot of like, texts and emails. I need to know about the weekend. How's it looking? And the summer is flying by. Yeah. On. Yeah. All right, Tony, thanks.